Yeah, I think the uh, U.S. economy will continue to grow at an above-trend pace in 2022. Uh, inflation's uh, far too high for comfort, and so we have to move to get inflation under control. I think uh, we've got a good plan in place. I earlier uh, this year argued that we needed to be at 100 basis points on the Fed funds rate by July 1. Now it looks like the market pricing will have uh, that and more priced in. So I think that's good. I also argued that the balance sheet runoff should start in the second quarter. So I'm hopeful that we'll get that going uh, very soon here at a coming meeting. And I think uh, those uh, promised actions have uh, put in motion market pricing, which is also helping us to keep uh, inflation under control two-year um, treasury now trading at, you know, I, I didn't check it today, but, you know, around 250. If you look pre-pandemic, it was maybe about 150, so about 100 basis points there. And then if you look at a mortgage rate uh, trading, you know, close to 5% or around 5% on a 30-year fixed before the pandemic, uh, that was uh, maybe 375, so 100 and 25 basis points there. So I think this kind of pricing shows that if you think the pre-pandemic economy was one where we were on the balanced growth path with, with uh, no upward or downward pressure on inflation, now we've got uh, a little bit hawkish policy uh, going uh, that's helping us to put downward pressure on the uh, very significant inflation readings that we're seeing. In addition, I think inflation will moderate partly on its own, but, but uh, there's still a component that won't moderate all by itself. Um, we can argue, I think maybe a good topic for today is what, which component won't moderate uh, all by yeah. itself. And, uh, but a minimum I would say would be to look at the Dallas Fed trim mean 3.6%. Uh, that probably represents a pretty persistent component of inflation and 3.6% is well above our inflation target. 2%. So we have to put downward pressure on that component of the inflation series. So um, so that's how I'm looking at things uh, right now. Um, I guess one last thought I give in my opening remark here is just to say that um, we want to get to neutral uh, uh, expeditiously, I guess, is, is the word of the day. And even if inflation was just at 2% today, you'd still want to get to neutral uh, today because um, you know, you're, you're removing accommodation that was put in place during the pandemic. But inflation is far above our 2% target. So that's a, there are two reasons to go to neutral uh, very quickly. Once we get to neutral, uh, we can assess the situation and see where we want to go uh, from there. Um, I've even said that we should try to get above neutral uh, as early as the third quarter um, uh, and uh, try to put further downward pressure on inflation at that point. But um, one step at a time, uh, yeah. we have to uh, go meeting by meeting here. And, and uh, I, I would just say that I also, I don't wanna disrupt markets, but we do have to move quickly here, more quickly than we're used to in the past.